In this video, we're talking about creating crystal clear 3D printed parts. Stay tuned. If you've used 3D printing for any amount of time, you'll know it offers a great deal of capability for the cost. And while it's great for a lot of things, there are a few things it's not so good at, and printing crystal clear parts is one of them. While there are clear filaments, it can be used to create single layer objects with good optical clarity. This video will focus on resin printed parts, and specifically the post-processing required to get great results on any object you print. But first, let's talk about the problem. I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. Maybe. For one, there are lots of clear resins available on the market, but the common issue they're all faced with is yellowing. The same dynamic cross-linking polymers that enable rapid curing resin are susceptible to degradation. This degradation is caused by the exposure to UV light and causes the polymers to turn amber in color. While the industry works on creating better formulations, there are some steps we can take to avoid that yellowing, like not post-curing parts and coating them with UV protective finishes. We'll get to that a little bit later. Have you ever noticed how good parts look when they first come off your printer? The reason is because the parts coated with a thin layer of uncured resin which is filling all the layer lines, giving the part a perfect finish. One way to keep that is to not wash off the extra layers and go straight to post cure, thus curing that extra layer of resin on the part. While it will give you a great finish, you'll lose dimensional accuracy and the resin will yellow a little bit from the extra exposure to UV light. To avoid that, we want to wash the model in IPA to remove any uncured material. Unfortunately, washing the part removes that thin layer of resin, which is making it look great. Today's process will help resolve that to give you the best clarity and color with the least amount of work. In order to do that, we'll perform several steps including 1. Sanding out all the layer lines using moderate to ultra fine grit sanding foam. 2. Polishing out surface scratches from heavy to fine grit compounds. 3. Degreasing the polished surface. 4. Coating the part with a gloss UV acrylic coating and five, finally polishing the acrylic to shine and protect. So let's get started. First we need to print the part, of course. Uh, this part was printed on a Formlabs Form 3 printer at 0.1 millimeter layer height, so the layer lines are a bit noticeable. You can almost see a prismatic or lenticular effect as the light shines through it. Next I'll be sanding the part in multiple stages. Since this is a convex lens shaped object, I'm going to be using my drill press to mount and spin the object to sand it with consistency. To do that, I created fixtures to hold the lens in both orientations. Using some medium thickness Starbond glue, I weld the two part assemblies together. Taking them over to the DVR drill press, I use VHB tape to hold the lens in the fixture. When spinning on the press, I keep the RPMs under 1000 to ensure that the part doesn't get too hot through the sanding process. I progressively sand the part with four grits of sanding foam from fine, superfine, microfine, and ultrafine. These correlate roughly to 120 to around 2000 grit sandpaper. By the way, all of the products used in this video are linked in the description below, and if you buy the products through the links, you're supporting the channel, and I appreciate that. Now, the level of sanding is up to you, but take your time if you're going for optical clarity. Once we get through all the sanding grits, it should feel silky smooth. In the next phase, I'll be using Novus acrylic polishing compounds. They come in three progressively finer grits and they're designed for polishing acrylic plastics. I start with the number three heavy compound. I apply it in an even motion across the surface of the lens, allowing it to dry, then clearing it with a clean cloth. Next I move on to the number two fine compound, performing the same process. And finally I use number three shine coat again, clearing it with a clean cloth. With the first side finished, I flip it over and do the same thing on the second. Once both sides are sanded and polished, the next step is to decrease the surface. Remove any chemicals and prep the surface for a UV protectant. The gloss UV acrylic coating will serve two purposes. One, it'll fill any remaining surface imperfections in the polished resin. And two, protect the resin part from the damaging and discoloring effects caused by extended UV exposure. I spray the part with two light coats of gloss UV acrylic coating. Once dry, let it fully cure, then go back and apply Novus Number no. 3 Shine Coat to put a high gloss on the finish. With that, we have a near optically clear resin object which has no color and is protected from any UV exposure it may have down the road. And now, let's check out the results one more time. Damn. I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. Damn. Not bad, right? It's not perfect, but it's close. 
If you need perfect clarity, I believe this process will get you there with enough time and patience. For me, the part is good enough for my needs and good enough for this project. Affirmative, Dave. So there are a lot of steps in this process, and depending on your level of perfection, you can selectively omit some. I get the best results from applying all of the steps, but use your best judgment based on your specific model, printer settings, surface finish, and desired surface quality. The only step I would not skip is the final UV acrylic coating, as they're key to protecting the part from discoloration. And while I showcased a less expensive Krylon UV clear coat, for the best results leverage a SprayMax 2K high gloss clear acrylic spray. Again, I've put links for all the products in the description below. So hopefully this video shed some light on overcoming the challenges and finishing clear resin prints while sharing a process to get you well on your way to optical clarity. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, ring that notification bell, it'll keep you informed on future updates. And if you like this particular video, Dave. give it a thumbs up. I'm sorry, Dave. It lets me know you like it. This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Well, all right then. In the meantime, be safe, have fun, and I can't wait to see you next time. Goodbye. Hey, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. It's how we're building the community. Also, allow me to bring better content. Also, check me out on these other social networks. There's lots of cool stuff there, too. See ya. Ow. Ow.